Welcome to season two of The Marketplace. On this edition, we'll be zeroing in on the activities of Black History Month and specifically on books that speak to Black History Month. In this edition, we're coming from Greenland's Books and Things. As the name suggests, we are on Greenland's in St. Kitts, in Basti specifically. And we'll be talking tonight to Dr. Robert E. in Chatterton. Welcome to The Marketplace, Dr. Chatterton. Thank you for having us. Our pleasure. Now tell us, how did you get started in this specific business and why the name Greenland's Books and Things? Well, I'm a, an avid reader of books, have been for years, mm -hmm. and this is not my first bookstore. I had one some years ago in Barbados called okay. Business Books. Mm -hmm. But why Greenland's? We're on Greenland's pastures, so it's easy for people to find us. Right. Um, we have stressed that readers are leaders, that's our slogan. And we would like to encourage persons of all ages to read. Mm -hmm. Here at Greenland's Books and Things, we focus on books by black people, about black people. Okay. I have tried to carry as many uh, titles as possible for, uh, by Caribbean authors, mm -hmm. but, but they are authors from outside the Caribbean as well. Okay, okay. Interesting you said that. I never had, I've heard, I did hear about um, this business, but I didn't, I didn't know that that was your primary focus, focusing on black authors, yes. which is very interesting. And, and specifically, this being Black History Month, being February, I understand that you're, you want to feature certain authors, certain books, certain stories. Yes, here we are featuring books written by persons from St. Kitts and Nevis, mm -hmm. as well as books by persons in the Caribbean, because we want to look at both our history, our heritage, and the culture in the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. As you know, Black History Month has been around since 1976, started in the United States, right. and it spread right around the world because it's celebrated in North America, as well as in England and other parts of the world. The, the idea is to highlight the achievements of persons of color. And so I have here on display a sample of what we have in the store, and I would like to talk to you about some of sure, them. Sure, go right ahead. Um, give us your first pick. We say that readers are leaders. And so we focus first on the leaders in the Caribbean, uh, that books have been written on them, so we know what the, str the struggles that they went through and how they were able to overcome. Mm -hmm. We have um, V.C. Bird of Antigua, Errol Barrow of Barbados, A.N.R. Robinson of Trinidad, Chedi Jagan from Guyana. Mm -hmm. So we also have a Norman Manley from Jamaica. Right. So we have quite a cross section mm -hmm. of books on our leaders. And then I would want to focus on the books that are written on the history of St. Kitts. Okay. We have two titles here by Sir Probin Innes, right. 40 Years of Struggle and Historic Bastille. The tourists are usually interested in Historic Bastille, but I believe that there is information for persons who live on St. Kitts who don't even know some of the things that Absolutely. have happened mm -hmm. about Bastille. Mm -hmm. The book by Clement Bouncin Williams is particularly special because he talks about life in Bastille. Actually, I had a session once on, by authors, and he talked about playing on Greenland's pasture. Mm -hmm. And so he mentioned some of that okay. in the book. Okay. So persons who live in, in Greenland, mm -hmm. persons who live around Bastille, could relate. it, could, it will, right. could relate right. to right. it. Mm -hmm. We also carry a, a, an, an interesting one, A Hundred Years of Medicine by Sir Cuthbert Sebastian. Okay. And he talks about what medicine was like mm -hmm. in St. Kitts over the years. Wow. He has some pictures that would make us shudder <laughs> as to what <laughs> life was like in the hospital in those early days. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I've tried to cover a cross section. We have um, the book on plants of, the, of St. Kitts by Dr. Milton Whitaker. Yes, I've heard about that one. Yes, mm -hmm. and he has brought out a second edition which has pictures okay so it makes it even to identify color, the plant it yeah. easy to mm -hmm. identify mm -hmm. the pictures mm -hmm. the, the plants no um so all these books i mean vast amounts of information vast amounts of history sitting right here before us what is the call to action for readers who are viewing this program as we speak well they are free to drop in and purchase or browse 
we are open Monday to Thursday from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. On Fridays, we're open until 6. And on Saturdays, we are open from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. We have tried to form a book club. That hasn't worked very well, but it isn't. I haven't abandoned the idea, so persons who are interested in coming together here to discuss books that they've read, they're free to do so. Uh, once a month, we set aside either Wednesday afternoon or Saturday morning. We have a room which is available, and so persons can come. In addition, we have a website, robertinechatterton.com, and you're able to purchase these books online. Oh, you can actually purchase. Yes. So all of these books that you're mentioning yeah, they, yeah, are available, are available online. online. Yes. And for persons outside of St. Kitts who might be looking at this, we will even ship to you. So we have And this was always available, this service? It's, this service, this, this particular service has been available since 2017. Okay. Because, you know, we are building. Right, 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 right. Let TDC Financial Services help you go for your goals. Whether you're thinking of taking that grand vacation, down payment on a house, higher education, TDC Financial Services has various plans that will allow you to go for your goals. The Accumulator Plus. Choose your payment plan and earn as your money grows. Start with as little as $100 and choose the payment terms suitable to your needs. Investment Starter Plan. A long-term plan that will allow you to make that big investment when you're ready. Fixed Deposit. You can fix your investments at various terms. Earn on your money when it matures. Ready to go for your goals? Visit us at TDC Financial Services, where money is made easy. You, you speak about, you know, the, the idea of a book club, and again, that would perhaps suggest that if you were to get that started, then people would be re-energized into reading. But is reading a lost art? Do you find that we're not reading sufficiently? A lot of us like to claim that we know our history, but then sometimes we, we stumble because we don't always get our facts correct. No, reading is not a lost art. It's just that not as many persons read. Persons will say that they prefer to use the technology and read on their Kindle. But I really like to feel the pages when I'm turning. And you, you, I lie down to read. You don't read from the Kindle very well. So persons who really enjoy reading will find that they need to purchase a book. Yeah, I, in, I was doing some research before I came um, on set. And one of the things that one of the authors who is in favor of, of the physical book said that for him, even the smell of the book yes, is yes, an appeal. Yes. And so, yes, she tried, you know, using the Kindle, and she, she weighed the pros and the cons of both the, the book, the physical book and the Kindle. And in the end, she said she favors the, the book because it's just something about turning the turning leaves, the leaves smelling yes, the scent, yes. um, the fact that, you know, you, can, you, you have the book there, and it, it reminds you of, 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 of that this is something that is a, a real living reference tool. Yes, it's, you could you know, load it and save it on your Kindle, but she said it's not the same. It certainly is not. It's, it's not the same. So I've, I, it, it's interesting, and, and I like the idea that when you selected the books that you want to focus on for Black History Month, there's, there's something, there's a little bit of everything. Yes. Some, some political, some about medicine, some about life in St. Kitts, some about... Um, we even have a cookbook, which is... Which, which deals with the recipes of St. Kitts, Nevis, and Anguilla. It was put out many years ago by the St. Kitts Home Economics Association. Okay. And when I moved to St. Kitts many years ago, mm -hmm. somebody gave me that. They, don't uh -huh. have, they know I don't like to cook, but <laughs> they gave me that. And I found it very interesting, mm -hmm. some mm -hmm. interesting recipes. Okay. So we have a good cross-section. Um, we also haven't left out the children mm -hmm. because they need to be encouraged to read. So we have books on people like Rosa Parks, Ella Fitzgerald, Alvin Ailey, mm -hmm. cross-section of persons who have been um, leaders in their own right. When I look at the um, one by Paul Keynes Douglas, yes. he was here a couple of he was, months yes. ago. Mm -hmm. And so I got him to autograph 
some copies, so I have autographed okay. copies by him, mm -hmm. uh, which covers things like Tanti mm -hmm, and mm -hmm, all that mm -hmm, kind. So, mm -hmm. you know, if people come, they'll find yeah. a cross-section. A wide cross-section, indeed. Yeah, yeah. No, I was curious. Um, the name of your business is Greenland's Books and Things. What, what do the things stand for? <laughs> I'm glad that you asked about the things, because here we carry products or articles made by the trainees at Ade's place. Mm -hmm. As you may know, Ade I'm was very my, familiar Ade because was of my Rotary. son. Yes, yes. And the trainees who are there make art and craft. Mm -hmm. So whatever they make that's available, that they want to sell, mm -hmm. I have them here. Oh, okay. And we give the money to them once okay. they're sold. We have some Valentine cards. That's mm -hmm. the latest thing mm -hmm. for this month. Okay, fabulous. And since I, I had it to ask later, but since you mentioned it now, that is one of the, the concerns, if you will, for want of a better word for now, that people are having. Many people have been saying, suddenly you can't find cards in St. Kids. Is it, is it your intention to add cards to but what you're doing we, here? Yeah, we carry cards at Christmas. Mm -hmm. We carry birthday cards. Okay. And we have a few sympathy cards. Okay. But as you know, the trainees work slowly because they are people yes. who are differently yes. able. Yes. So they, we don't have a large volume. Mm -hmm. But as many as they produce, mm -hmm. once they're available, I carry and them And how here. do you find, do they sell well? Not many persons ask. Mm -hmm. You know, if you come in for a book and they, they, they're here on display. Well, I so, think people are going to know now because there's so, a huge listenership for the, to the yeah, marketplace. Right. So we, 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 there were some Christmas wreaths that they made, so we sold those. Okay. So whatever, whatever mm -hmm. things they mm -hmm. make. Mm -hmm. So this is where the things, things in your name yeah, yes, um, yeah, come yeah, from. Yeah. As I was... As I said, I was, as I was doing some reading before I came here, um, you know, there was so many um, discussion points about the fact that community bookstores uh, are closing, are closing, closing yeah. and, um, and, and how they are reinventing themselves or adding stuff like, you know, doing um, coffee, coffee sh yes, doing a yeah. coffee shop or, or wine, little wine, wine bars. bars. Well, those are things that we have, co we have considered. Mm -hmm. Um, because you want to attract people. Right. Um, I've contacted somebody about local ice cream mm -hmm. because I think that that's yeah, something that could go down well. well yeah. So, but it takes a little while to get things yeah, organized. Yeah. But those are some of the plans mm -hmm. for 2017. Okay. Okay. Well, I hope that that you appearing on our program would even spur some of these activities and spur interest because I've seen a book that I'm going to get before I leave here as well. Okay. And, um, and I must confess personally that I've not been a good reader since university, <laughs> which is quite a shame. <laughs> Maybe I had too many books to read. That's but, what people say. But I promise, I promise that if you were able to as a matter of fact, I've been also doing some background to get people interested in a book club. Book club, And yes. so if you, if you get to that point before I do, I would certainly be interested in joining one. Well, we'd, we'd love to have it. As I said, it's here. It, the room is available. And I suggested two days, mm -hmm. either Wednesday afternoon or I could make it Thursday right. or Saturday morning. So okay. whichever day is possible. Mm -hmm. I had even considered trying to do it online. Okay. The, the book club. Yes. But I, st I believe that we need that face to face. The, yes, the, yes, the yeah. interaction. I, we do. We do. Know, we, we do. Because we don't mm -hmm. really have time mm -hmm. to stop and stare and, you know, discuss the things uh, in the book by um, Christine Barrow. Uh -huh. I, I, things I remember, she talks about the um sore foot and what people used to use yes. to, to, to bandage that <laughs> and the calabash mm -hmm. and things which i think our young people don't know anything about and they ought to know and they ought to know yes. because in hard times we have to resort to these survival things. we have so to survive <laughs> that is why although sometimes things are extremely slow i still persevere mm -hmm. because i believe in what i'm doing yes. I, I have a passion for, for reading, I believe that it gives you an experience which you can't get if you're on a small mm -hmm, island. Mm -hmm. So it helps to broaden your mm -hmm. outlook on life. And I would really recommend it anytime I meet young people. Right. I like the fact that you are, you are planning to use technology to, to, to advertise the books because you know, from time to time I come across people in the diaspora on Facebook who would say, um, I hear about this book, but I need to get, how do I get, get it? it? Yes. And, and so I think, I think that, that would be a, um, 
a, a, a boon in your in your camp, if you will, because then they don't have to feel excluded. So they, they don't. From, from I went from to the a information over Christmas. That's what I, whenever I travel, I spend a lot of time in bookstores. And this lady is the Marcus Garvey bookstore in Oakland, in California. Uh -huh. And she said most of her readers, most of her business people come not from people around, the people who seek her out because she knows, they know that she carries those books. Mm. She's been in existence for 65 years. 65 years. It was years. started by her parents. Wow. And she, again, she has the full range, mm -hmm. mainly black Americans. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But so I thought, well, I could carry some black Americans, but there's a lot of Caribbean material that's not known. Yes. And as I travel doing my other, the other side of my work, I usually collect books from St. Vincent, Grenada, mm -hmm. wherever I am, mm -hmm. so I have a cross-section of material mm -hmm. from right across the Caribbean. What about the schools though? Um, I know at the college there's a history club. Um, has there ever been any interest in, in some of the, the, the books that you carry so that they themselves could lead a charge from even that, that, that social gathering in the college? Not really. I had one or two persons ask about books on Wal by Walter Rodney. I suppose that was a history. Yes. So I have that. How, um, Britain on oh Europe, Europe on the developed I have Africa, that yeah um, but no there's not been a lot of interest what I've tried to do is to go into the high schools and try to get the English teachers mm -hmm. to bring this their class over from time to time but so often they're only interested in what's on the syllabus for CXC English no so extra they don't reading to, no they just only focus on that so you know I carry some of them but you know, there's a lot more mm -hmm. in that could be that could be read. I believe so, and and maybe maybe I should just throw this sentence out to you and ask you to comment on it in that same vein. Um, there's a Ray Bradbury who said, "You don't have to burn books to destroy a culture; just get people to stop reading them." Oh yes, and you know, if we don't read what happened in the past, we're going to make the same mistake. Absolutely. That is, that is one of the reasons why I really believe that we need to read the things that have been written by us, about us. Mm -hmm. Because if it's written by somebody else, there's a different spin. Exactly, exactly. And I, I feel very strongly about that, that we need to, re to read what's written by us, about us. Agreed, I, I, I agree. And, and that is why, for me, when I, when I came in and I saw the spread of books that you had on the table, I was impressed um, with, the sub, with the, the subject material because, I mean, as, as I said, it, different, there's different subject if you're interested in politics, in cooking, in, in bush medicine, in, in leadership. I mean, I, I saw um, you have one about the speeches from Errol Barrow. Barrow yes. You know, so, so that these are things that when you read, you could relate to them. Yes. And you, learn what... And learn. Yeah. And, and, and surely we need to, I, I think as Caribbean people, we need to look towards our own leaders and stop glorifying right. people who don't uh, necessarily look like us. And, and, and who and, it is, and it's, it's the right thing. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So I, I really, really am, I, I'm, as I said, I think, I think my doing this interview is also going to make me into a different creature after this because well that would be <laughs> great i didn't think that was possible it is possible but it is possible it is possible yeah. because um i i think we, we we are losing the awareness of who we are yes and it is all around us it is documented and we really have no reason not, not to, to know. know yeah not yeah. to know yeah. and 
I, I would want to refer to Bam Boucher by Hansel Manners. He talks about life in Nevis mm -hmm. and what it was like with people going to England in the early days and coming down here and you don't know when you're going to see them again. Uh, you know, I think people ought yeah. to understand yeah. Yeah. what those persons mm -hmm. who went to England in mm -hmm. the early days went through. Absolutely. W when we spoke earlier this week, you, were, we were, you mentioned to me how, you know, um, we have an oral tradition yes. um, in the Caribbean. I myself remember those nights um, sitting on the steps with my grandmother, uh, my grandmother is, who was in the vision, and giving us all the memories of life in Nevis then. And that is something that we absolutely looked forward to as children. And we would sit and interrogate her. So what about, so you mean to say, and you know, and, and so the fact oh, that somebody can so document these things. Yes. It's we need to know. I saw a comment which really bothered me, which said, if you want to keep things away from black people, put it between two covers. Yeah. And I was really offended. I, 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 it, I've it, seen that and too. And it made me even more determined that this must succeed. And, and whatever forum I can find mm -hmm. to, to, to showcase them, I will do that. I, I absolutely agree. I absolutely agree. When you spoke about the home economic, um, the home economic sticks, for instance, I was saying this could easily evolve into a television show. So that, you know, using that same book as a reference document, um, somebody cooking. can then, yeah, go and, and, and do some of these recipes because many of our children don't even know. I mean, we are fast food generation now. That is so, so true. <laughs> so these young people who were born maybe after the 1980s have not a clue how maybe to cook a pot of rice and peas or maybe how to make some goat water. So really we are, we are widening the gap, the generation gap, if our young people don't, don't, don't take know, up these right, books and yes. read. And There's one here called Caribbean Christmas by Christopher Vanier. Mm -hmm. He's somebody who left St. Kitts a long time ago. I remember that ago. name, yeah. And he writes tales from St. Kitts, what Christmas was like back mm -hmm, then. Mm -hmm. You know, I mentioned it to somebody and they said, really? That's what they used to do? And I, here, here am I explaining to I them. I know, could you imagine? <laughs> they, it, it hadn't crossed their yeah. mind to even ask somebody what was Christmas like. Yes, you yes, know? yes. Yes, I, I, I really want this conversation to, as I say, jumpstart people into seeing the need for reading. Um, interestingly, when I listened, well, I think just a few weeks ago, we had something on the the Buckley's riot, the yes, commemoration. Yes, yes. And I'm always intrigued by the fact that it's the Rastafarians who are behind, who are behind, you know, making sure we don't forget. Yes, yes. And, and um, it almost appears that they are more interested in, in the history that, of the islands yes, than we are. Yes, yeah, yeah. We, 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 we tend not to want to look back because in some cases I think people are a little embarrassed that but, it happened, but, but it happened, exactly. embarrassed or not, it, it mm -hmm, happened. Mm -hmm. But I, I also carry things f of people who are current, like Usain Bolt. Right. I think he's somebody that young people can, can identify with. Mm -hmm, Muhammad mm -hmm. Ali, when right. he's just passed. Mm -hmm. But they had strength. And even look, reading how they developed to be the kinds of mm -hmm, characters that mm -hmm. they are would be, I would think, um, informative and helpful to our young people. Agreed, agreed. Things in life that fall and break. That's why at TDC Insurance Company, our number one priority is just being there for you. We understand what matters most, and we're here to ensure that you keep the things you cherish close. TDC Insurance Company, guaranteeing you peace of mind. When people are making the case about books 
and, and versus the Kindle. Will it, will it talk about the difference in price, you know, the fact that um, it's more portable, you could load a whole heap of books and not lose them and so on and so forth. But um, is there, are these, some of these books still available? Because you did say that there's always people read for you, yeah, that's yeah, what is important. Yeah. But um, we, we, are our Caribbean authors? Some of them, I would say not as many, mm -hmm. but I, I also have an arrangement with a bookstore, in, a book dealer in Barbados, uh -huh. where I can get, sell you a token mm -hmm. and you can download the books. Okay. So, again, so one way or the other. Yeah. Yeah. She, she focuses again on Caribbean authors. Brilliant. Mm -hmm. So we, you know, mm -hmm. I, can, I can get them once the writers have put them in the Kindle form. Mm -hmm. But our, our authors are a little reluctant to do this. Yeah. I think there's a belief that they will sell less books, oh, okay. but that's not true mm -hmm. because there's a, 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 a something which prevents people from just downloading them to their friends. Oh, okay. So you know you, you're protected okay. in, in the number of things okay. that you will sell. Okay. In 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 wrapping up, give, give us a broad view of exactly where you are. Tell us again where you are. Um, what you what what is the main appeal? Of, of coming here and seeing and touching and flipping the leaves of these books and what they can and what people generally can get from reading a book. <laughs> when we are ha we're focusing on Caribbean writers, f people of color who outside of the outside of the Caribbean mm -hmm. who have written about black people. Yes. So that we can get a sense of who we are. We can look back get the history, the culture, we can look forward, we know what is current, mm -hmm, what, what, mm -hmm. cur what is currently happening, as well as to be able to pass on. And this is one of the things I wanted to mention, that older folk can come as well, okay. and they can use the books to have a conversation with, with their grandchildren. Because yes. I have one or two mm -hmm. persons who bring their grandchildren, okay. so they buy the books that and idea. they're going to read yes, with them. Yes. So you can bridge that mm -hmm, gap, that mm -hmm. generation gap. We are based on Greenlands Park. I think everybody knows where a lot of activity happens politically. And so not so packing. <laughs> and packing is not a problem. We're open from 10 until 5, Monday to Thursday, from 10 until 6 on Fridays, and on Saturdays we open from 10 until 2. So you can drop in even on the weekend when you're um, not at work and browse. Take, indicate your interest, so if there's something that we don't have, we will try to get. Oh, for Valentine's Day, we are hoping to be able to do some giveaways. There's a book that I recommend very strongly. It's called um, Think and Grow Rich, A Black Choice by Napoleon Hill. Mm -hmm. So we're going to give some of those away on Valentine's Day. And we look forward to your visit. I think this was this was such an educational conversation and so absorbing. I guess you, suddenly my passion has been transferred. <laughs> so I, I want to be the first to put my hand up to say I pledge publicly that I would begin to read more. In fact, I'm going to walk away with a book because I see one um, behind me that I want to purchase. And to, to say thank you. For, for this initiative. And I, I'm sure that this would arouse a lot of curiosity and hopefully people will begin to come through the door in steady streams and make it a part of their everyday living because books are about life, about living. So thank you very much for having this conversation with us on the marketplace and we wish you the best of luck. And we'll be we'll be watching and reading. And congratulations on this program. Thank you so much. Thank you.